वेलकम टू एडिटोरियल ऑफ द डे प्रेजेंटेड बाय टॉपर आईएस विजयनगर बेंगलोर टुडेज टॉपिक द वुमेन्स रिजर्वेशन बिल कैन नॉट वेट एनी लॉन्गर रिटन बाय रीना गुप्ता इज नेशनल स्पोक्स पर्सन आम आदमी पार्टी विद एम्पल एविडेंस ऑफ वेमेन लीडर्स मेकिंग अ मार्क India ought not to overlook the pivotal role women can play in nation building and development even though women have been breaking the glass ceiling of patriarchy in every sector politics is the arena where women find it the most challenging to find space india may have achieved suffrage early but women still face significant barriers to political participation and do not have the right to govern It is disheartening to witness that even 75 years after independence parliament lacks substantial representation from half the population with women holding just 14% of the seats It is time to acknowledge the systematic exclusion of women from politics and demand action to create a more equitable political landscape A regression after a promising start Women played a crucial role in India's fight for independence by organizing demonstrations, leading rallies and raising awareness. There were numerous female representatives in the constituent assembly as well. Just a decade ago, three of India's largest states, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu and Uttar Pradesh, were in the spotlight for being led by women chief ministers. While Sushma Swaraj led the opposition in the Lok Sabha, Sonia Gandhi served as both president of the Congress party and chairperson of the United Progressive Alliance. Also, India had its first woman president, Pratibha Patil, around the same time. Despite the presence of influential women in Indian politics, we have regressed since the 1980s and patriarchal backlash has resulted in the status of women in india being far from ideal hence it will not be wrong to infer that the issue of political representation of women is a greater case as opposed to having token representation the discourse on women's reservation in india originates from the pre-independence era when several women's organizations demanded political representation for women it can be traced back to 1955 when a government appointed committee recommended that 10% of seats in the lok sabha and state legislative assemblies should be reserved for women however it was not until the 1980s that the demand for women's reservations gained momentum the national perspective plan for women 1988 recommended that 30% of seats in all elected bodies should be reserved for women this recommendation was reiterated in the national policy for the empowerment of women which was adopted in 2001 in 1993 The Panchayati Raj Act was amended to reserve 33% of all seats in local government bodies for women which was a significant step towards women's political empowerment. The success of this reservation led to demands for similar reservations in other elected bodies in 1996 the women's reservation bill was introduced in the Lok Sabha. The bill proposed to reserve one third of seats in the Lok Sabha and state legislative assemblies for women. However, facing strong opposition from some political parties, it lapsed but gained more momentum again in the early 2000s. On 9th March 2010, the bill was approved in the Rajya Sabha. Sonia Gandhi, Sushma Swaraj, and Brinda Carrot of the CPI M. posed for photographs outside parliament smiling and holding hands indicating that this was a fight much bigger than individual political affiliations global examples around the world women leaders are outperforming their male counterparts the scandinavian countries have implemented policies and governance structures that support gender equality and women's empowerment which includes women's representation in political and leadership positions moreover 
Countries led by women have shown to have some of the best policies and governance practices. The deep scars in Rwanda, a Central African nation, from the genocide are being healed by predominantly a leadership that comprises women, this has also resulted in key social reforms. Norway implemented a quota system in 2003 that required 40% of seats on corporate boards to be occupied by women. Now, it is time for the women in India, the mother of democracy, to lead the nation. Aneta in Amrit Kal Baba Sahib Ambedkar was of the opinion that the progress of a community can be measured by the degree of progress which women have achieved, but we are still far away from that benchmark. Equality cannot wait any longer and the time for change is now. Women have been waiting for too long for their right to govern, not just for themselves but for the greater common good. Women's leadership qualities are not hidden from anyone, so the denial of opportunity for political representation represents grave injustice. A nation that still struggles to provide basic health care and education, necessary for the dignified life of citizens, must now let women take charge of the task of transforming India. As India strives to become a Vishwaguru, we must not overlook the pivotal role women can play in nation-building and development. The Women's Reservation Bill cannot wait any longer. The bill must be passed. Are you preparing UPSC KPSC? Then this is a golden opportunity for you. Topper IS Chapter Wise Test Series is offered at a low cost of just 33 rupees. Only first 100 students will get chance. Every day one rupee is higher.